Ojek is just what Indonesian people call motorcycle taxis. So you have Ojek stands, there's Ojek corners throughout the city. It's become like such a huge phenomenon in Jakarta. You can't go anywhere without seeing hundreds of Gojek drivers on the street. As I say, we painted the city green. Initially, what was your goal, your mission? Our mission was to create the fastest transportation and delivery service in Jakarta. One of the things you know, we, we consider ourselves like a social enterprise, helping people, uh, creating jobs, and also improving income. That was also from the beginning. Now, you guys have, uh, it's safe to say, you've changed lifestyle in Jakarta for the better. How does that make you feel? We help the welfare of a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, hundreds of thousands of people, and, and you know, waking up every morning, that feels really good yeah. to be able to create that kind of level of employment and welfare as a social safety net, if you will, for people that may get fired from their jobs or you know, they don't have a steady paycheck. I think on the other side, changing how Jakartans and other big cities in Indonesia live is particularly satisfying because we're, we, we're a software company, but this is a kind of the software that touches people's lives very deeply and very personally. I kind of feel a little bit like a superstar. Everyone's always like, thank you so much, man. Like, you know, Gojek saved my life and blah, blah, blah. They complain uh, too. <laughs> yeah, they it's not always. A lot, yeah. <laughs> Time is more valuable than money. That's, that's what the Gojek product allows you to do. We're actually selling time, yeah. right? For you to do the things that you want to do.